wrapped around this, went up this branch here, all the way down to the end of the branch over there, and was doubling back. Its tail was coming back down the branch. So I'm, I'm guessing about 15 to 20 feet long. And it didn't help that I just saw Anaconda like five days ago, the movie, so five or six days ago. So that didn't help at all. Well, my first step was I was getting ready to go up and grab him by the neck. And I was like, okay, I'm just grabbing him and, and we'll bring a pillowcase out here and put him in there. And then I just realized how big he was and thought, yeah, that's probably not the smartest thing to do. So um, I started making phone calls. I called the uh, City of Columbia Police Department um, to get Animal Control's number. Animal Control doesn't do snakes, I'm told. And then um, I called DNR today. I didn't call DNR last night. I called them today and they said, yeah, they don't do snakes that big. Or they don't do snakes, period, is what they said. Especially, like, they think it's a black snake, so. Who um, said it was a black snake? Um, well, that's third party information. That's, you know, other people seeing the pictures are saying it's a black snake. Um, I don't know. I never really talked to anybody at DNR other than the, the girl on the phone that I was talking to. Yeah. The problem with that, the problem I have is this is this is a 15 to 20 foot long snake. I mean, most black snakes don't get that long, yeah. eight to nine feet max. And if this is a black snake, then still one that big poses a significant threat to this area. It needs to be put somewhere in captivity at the zoo or something.